Today I'm going to show you a very simple and very effective method for collecting free armor, free weapons, free cosmetic items for Star Citizen. And it is super easy, you don't even have to go and do any kind of missions, we're not dependent on specific missions to spawn, uh, that can also bug out. Uh, we don't have to do any shooting, it's completely legal, we're not going to do any trespassing, so simple, 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 let me show you. Today's video is sponsored by Secret Lab. We all strive for the best possible gaming experience. But the importance of a good quality chair is often underestimated. Secret Lab produces some of the most comfortable and high quality gaming chairs you can get. So upgrade your commander chair today and fly in style and comfort. Follow the link in the video description to their store. Type in your height, your weight, and it will tell you which chairs fit you for the best possible seating experience. In terms of equipment, all you really need is an undersuit. You're going to need a helmet. And that's pretty much it. You don't even need a backpack. It's optional. You can bring one if you want to, but you don't actually have to. I'm going to show you how we get around carrying loot around without actually having a backpack to put it in. So we need to find a good place to loot some items. Now, you can go to many of these surface settlements. You can see I'm out here at Arkorp. If I go out here to Valor, because there's a lot of surface settlements. And um, we can, for instance, let's just go for something in the daylight because... YouTube and videos. See, there we go. We have Ark Mining Corp, for instance. That's a good one. These areas will have a lot of buildings, and these buildings can have a lot of containers. So there's a lot of loot to be picked up here. The mining areas may not spawn that many weapons, but there's a, there can be a higher chance than for armor pieces. There are other places that with higher chance for armors. We're going to go to one of those in a second. Once we're here, we're going to locate the buildings. We can see there is a number of different buildings around, and we're going to land ourselves a nice central spot. And we could just land on the landing pad. I actually prefer just to land somewhere else, just outside. But we're just going to find a good place to land. And once we're here, we just need to begin to check each and every building for potential loot boxes. Let's see what we got. Oh, look at that. We're lucky. There's a red box here. So we're gonna go and loop that. And let's see what we got. Oh, that's not too bad. We got some legs and we got some... Um, we actually got a pretty neat helmet here. Now what you can do is, instead of having it in your um, external, which is the box it in, instead of putting it into a backpack, which you can do if you want to, but I recommend you just put it into your local storage. So just drag these over put them into local. Um, a good uh, a tip here that someone told me is if you go in and apply the other filters, pretty much everything will disappear. And that means when you drag over, you don't have to be like, wait for it to find a spot or move the things around. It's just a little faster if you just drag into an empty interface. And then you can just go ahead and remove those filters again when you want to see everything. Okay, now we're in the hat building. We're just gonna check the boxes that surround us here, see if there's anything, nothing here seems lootable. Let's move on further in here. Oh, no, I thought there was a, a lunchbox there. It wasn't. Oh, see, that's one of the lootable ones. This is what's referred to as a lunchbox, as you will see here when it opens. There's a lot of food in it. You can find some uh, some cosmetic items, like here we have one of those uh, ready-up helmets, one of those plastic bags you put over. And the final room here. Oh, God, I got another red box. Put that over there, and we got some arms. Just drag everything over there, that's nice. Oh. Um. There's a dead guy in here. You have noticed? I want nothing to do with that. I do want something to do with this lunchbox, though. See if there's anything fun in this one. Oh, we got some uh, we got some pants and some shoes this time. That's okay. So now that we've looted all the buildings and everything is in our local inventory, we need to transfer it over to our ship. Back in our Pisces, we can take one of them over here to be a vehicle, and the other one will be local. We remove the filters, and now it's just a matter of drag and dropping everything into the vehicle. And as you can see, we could do this without ever using our backpack. So. That just makes things so much more easier. And if we want to make the transfer a little faster, move that over to other. And then just drag and drop. I'm just going to show you one more site where we maybe, if we're lucky, have a slightly higher chance of finding, uh, finding weapons. So from what I've been told, a lot of these farms that you will find around have a higher chance of weapons um, compared to the mining areas. You can see here now we have the 
the Shady Glen Farms. Let's go set our destination. Okay, here we are. Let's begin to look around and see what we can find. Sometimes you'll see like armor boxes up here on this. So I'm just gonna look around. You will quite quickly begin to, uh, if you're doing this for, for a while, you'll begin to get a feeling for where the boxes have a tendency to spawn. Um, and then it makes it a little bit faster when you're looking around here. So let's just take a quick look around. All these boxes that are already open, we can't loot those. So if you see something with a half open lid, don't even bother. See, same with that one. Can't do with that. Oh, we did get a red box here in the living quarters. So let's see what they are hiding in there. Oh, that's, <laughs> as I said, higher chance of us getting weapons. So we got a P8, a little SMG. We got a 3X Optics, another P8, and another P8. And some sniper rifle ammo. And we also got an AO3 sniper rifle. That's very nice of them. Uh, some grenade ammo, maybe, or shotgun ammo. Uh, I think that was the grenade ammo. Yeah, got a grenade launcher. That's pretty neat. Ammo for the P8s. Helmets and more helmets. That was a pretty nice box. I'm gonna like that one. Let's check the storage room again. Tons and tons of boxes here, and I have not yet found one of these to be lootable. But sometimes they will put boxes back here on the floor. That's another red one. See, we got more weapons this time. Yup. And now we just do the same thing again. Have our vehicle over here, set it to other, and then we have everything in our local storage. And this is where I am very much looking forward to when CRG implement that select all button so we do this in one go and don't have to sit and drag things over one at a time. And after looting just two different settlements, we got ourselves a very, very healthy amount of stuff and things. And now we can just go, we will continue if we wanted to, we have plenty of storage in our ship. Let's set our route for Bajini Point. Engines on. And off we go. And while we are heading back to Bradini Point, I just want to remind you guys to go down and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Because all that's really left to do now is to dock at the Bradini Point and then open up your inventory and transfer all your items over to the local inventory uh, at whatever station you want to store it at. And once you've done that, you are free to go out, collect more loot if you want to, or go and play around with the items that you've collected. But that's a bit for today. Thanks a lot for watching and also next time. I'll see you guys in space.